Hey guys, Tyler here from GarageWarrior.com, your number one resource for hard-hitting home workouts and living the warrior lifestyle. And today I'm going to answer the question about how to get stronger joints. So I prepared five ways to build stronger joints, all right? So I'm going to touch on each one of these things, but first, you need to understand that building strong joints is all about staying active and moving and causing those joints to want to adapt to a stimulus. So here's the five ways you guys can do that. First up is high reps, okay? High reps build strong tendons and ligaments, okay? Mostly tendons. So if you're, even if you're doing basic stuff like elbow circles or big arm circles, getting in some high reps of that is not only going to lubricate those joints, but it's going to help build those tendons and the structure associated with that movement in particular. Heavy weights. If you think you're going to get strong bones and strong ligaments without lifting heavy weights, then you're crazy. Ligaments are really the key to maximum strength. You have to strengthen your ligaments, but what you need to understand is ligaments take up to three years to affect change. So just because you're doing something for four weeks or six weeks or six months doesn't mean you've actually made a substantial change to your ligaments. If you want strong ligaments, you have to lift heavy weights with good form, of course. Isometrics, I and mean, I'm not just talking about long duration, 30 minute isometric holds. Let's make these holds hard. So challenging things that put your body into a good alignment, like holding a one arm handstand against a wall or holding a wall chair with a 200 pound barbell in your lap. Those are the kind of things that build that strong tendon and ligament relationship. Finally, PNF stretching. We don't want to build strong joints just through a comfortable range of motion. We want to build strong joints through a full range of motion. So doing things like PNF stretching where you can bring your leg towards you and you can pull against it while you push your leg back against so you're trying to flex your muscles in a full range of motion can be extremely beneficial for helping improve your joint strength through maximum range of motion. And finally, this is another thing that most people don't think about. Everybody wants to achieve joint strength through exercise. Well, what about nutrition? So one of the key components to your joints other than just collagen is what's called glycosaminoglycans, all right? You guys have probably um, heard of glucosamine in, in supplements. Everybody's talking about glucosamine. Well, this is the food form of glucosamine. What contains glycosaminoglycans? Um, things like bone broth, uh, chicken broth, things that are basically boiled down materials of an animal that contain those components. You are what you eat, right? So if you eat high quality joint tissue, you're actually going to get higher quality joint tissue. And that's one of my big secrets to trying to keep as healthy as possible with my joints. So there's the five things. High reps, lift heavy weights, do some isometrics, PNF style stretching, and eat your broths, guys. It's good for you. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching this video. If you dig it, you want to help me spread the warrior message, click the like button above, and I really appreciate that. Otherwise, go to garagewarrior.com for more tips and tricks on how to work out at home and live the warrior lifestyle. Thanks for watching.